All right, let's take a look. Cucurbitus, or cucurbits, I have no idea to say that, a group of plants that include squash and melons relied on mastodons to spread their seeds in the Ice Age. When these animals died out, cucurbits uh, faced extinction in turn, having lost their means of seed dispersal. Around this time, however, the ancestors of indigenous peoples in North America began raising cucurbits as crops, thus allowing something like that. That's kind of my brain just wanting to fill in that blank, allowing the plant survival, verifying, mm, not quite right, multiplying, no, comforting, no, ensuring, meaning guaranteeing, making it um, definite, right? Uh, so the other words are kind of close, and maybe if we were rushing, we might pick them. So verifying means proving true, but it doesn't mean like making it true in the world, right? So it prove, uh, to verify, you can verify a claim, you can verify a fact, Right, so you can do research and prove something true, but you can't like prove a, a plant true, a plant survival true. That's not how that word works. Uh, multiplying, that one also feels like a little bit of a trap, but it's not the survival that's multiplying, it's the plant that's multiplying. So the, the wording doesn't quite match the, the meaning there. Um, and then C, comforting, the plant is not upset. So it's not comforting the plant survival. So this one to me makes zero sense. But I can see how people, especially if English is not your first language, are going to pick A and B because they have shades of truth here. So maybe this is getting to the idea of usage, which is one of the more frustrating things that we'll encounter on the SAT vocab, where words might have very similar definitions, they might overlap, they might make some sense, but really it just comes down to certain words cannot be used in certain situations, right? So you can ensure a plant's survival, but you can't verify a plant's survival. You can verify that a plant survived by going out in whatever area and looking for some cucurbits, but you can't verify its existence by, or you can't verify its survival. Ooh, I'm messing up the words here. You can verify its survival by going out and checking if it still exists, but we're not verifying its survival by allowing it to continue to grow. So there, there you go. The very fact that I'm tripping over this is proof that there is some overlap there, but hopefully you have a good sense of it. And eventually in certain questions on the SAT, you have to trust that sense.